Hey Tickies, okay, today we are doing water marbling again. I don't know why I continue to torture myself, but I hope you like it. Let's get into it. So for the water marbling today, I'm using nail art do-it-yourself kit pens. They're micro nib nail art pens. They come in a pack of five, blue, yellow, pink, green, and orange. And they have a normal brush inside the bottle when you unscrew the cap. And then at the other, uh, not at the other end, but at the top of the cap, you can pop that off. And there's these little micro nib things, which are actually really good quality, I'm, I must admit. Before starting your water marbling, you want to paint your base colour. I'm using Tiny Glazes White on White here. Also, you want to tape up your fingers, or you can use a peel off base coat, or you can even use Vaseline, but you need to protect the skin around your nails. Now for the water that you're going to use, I'm using distilled water from the supermarket, but I have used tap water in the past and it has worked. But I think the most important part about water marbling water is the temperature of it. If your room is cold, then your room temperature water is going to be cold too. So I would suggest that you make it tepid, as in not warm and not cold. Okay, so you want to work fast. You want to start by putting drops of the polish onto your water. If they spread, great. If they don't, you're probably not using the right kind of polish. Now this is trial and error. If the first lot of polish that you're using doesn't work, then switch to a different brand. Or also, if your polish is too thick, it won't spread. You can maybe use some nail polish thinner to uh, thin it out a little bit, and then it should spread a little bit better. It really is trial and error. You need to work it out for yourself out of the polish stash that you have, which ones are going to be really good for water marbling and which ones aren't. Now, as you can see, yet again, I have played way too much with the polish in this water and uh, I just, um, <laughs> just I just can't help myself, I think. And so I'm actually dipping all four fingers into the cup all at once because I can't be bothered doing it again because I'm uh, water mumbling just confounds me most of the time. So with what I do when I end up with a design that doesn't really look like anything, and I think I've said this in the past, I add dots to everything when it comes to water marbling and it just makes things look kind of pretty. So that's what I do. Now obviously I'm cleaning up my cuticle area, which there wasn't a lot of mess and my taping's gotten really good. I'm quite good at that right now. And I'm using a non-acetone remover and an angled Revlon eyeshadow brush. Now, as I said before, these nifty little uh, nail art pens have these little nibs on them which make for perfect little dots all around your mortar marble to make it look nicer than it did before. And once you've finished all of that and everything is completely dry, get your good quality top coat and seal it all in. And that's it yet again. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tiki. Oh, and thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you very much for that gorgeous thumbs up.